Hello, welcome to the stock market. Today, let's take a look at uh, micro strategy. Uh, this stock has been on a run, a very bullish run now, and the price is actually quite parabolic at this moment. And when the stock is parabolic, you have to be very, very careful of a crash or at least a correction. So without further ado, let's uh, go to have a look at the daily chart of micro strategy. I do a lot of this stock analysis almost every day. So if you like to um, look at this analysis and of this stock and other stocks, do subscribe to my channel. Now this stock has run up by quite a lot. If you go back here, it form a cup with handle pattern. If you can see this uh, cup with handle pattern, it's a trailer pattern uh, where the stock has a bullish reversal it formed a bottoming tail at the handle you can actually uh, buy the stock as it gaps up above the handle put the stop loss below and ride it higher and many times when a stock is forming a cup with handle it can go up a lot um, here we have the stock going from 500 to about 1006 about three times return in well just uh, three to four weeks. It's amazing. So next time, do uh, when you see a cup with handle pattern, okay, you have to take note, especially if it's above the rising 200 MA. Uh, maybe I can just draw this uh, area consolidation. Mm, let me change the color so that it reflects the color of money green. Okay, uh, here is the cup. And then this is the handle, which is a consolidation. You buy the breakout, put a stop loss below it, and ride it higher. Here we have a bullish cross as the stock consolidates again. And uh, the good thing about this stock is that it was consolidating at a previous high here, which if you know about technical analysis, it is uh, old highs once overcome becomes new support. So it was... Uh, consolidating at the support area with a bullish cross and you could actually buy the gap up put a stop loss below the entire consolidation and ride it higher so for those who didn't get in here you could have got in here <coughs> now um this stock has met all uh, the targets you can actually take a uh, move from here to here measured move and clone it and project it from here the lows of this uh, consolidation about here and it has met the target of a thousand but it it is just keep going up and at this moment you can see it triple in prices uh, it's actually gone very parabolic and you need to be very very careful with stocks they are doing parabolic moves because nothing goes up forever and if a stock goes up very fast without forming bases like this or this, okay, the crash can be very severe and uh, it can just go down like this. Okay, It happens to many, many stocks, which is why you have to be very, very careful. And when the stock is making parabolic moves, you want to shift to uh, the shorter time frame to use a trend following method. Now, later I'm going to go into the hourly chart and show you a simple trend following tool <clears throat> using the moving average to catch at least 80 to 90% of the trend. Now, um, this yesterday it formed a somewhat uh, topping tail. Okay, good thing that it did not close. Uh, it Good thing it did not form a a shooting star right right <coughs> it has a small body here with some uh, tail at the top here so it's not like a shooting star but it kind of give you an idea that uh, stock is rejecting to go higher because it opened here went up and then closed lower here at, exactly at the low of the day so it went up to about 1646 around the area Let's take a look at the high. It is uh, 1650, which is a round number, and which is why it went down. And uh, before we go into the 60 minute chart, let's look at the weekly chart to gain a bigger picture. You always, uh, when it comes to stock analysis, always look at a few time frames, uh, whether it's the uh, 
weekly chart, daily chart, and the 60-minute chart because you want to be an all-rounder. And sometimes when you look at different time frames, it gives you uh, more perspective and you're one to two steps ahead of many traders or analysts. So this is the uh, weekly chart of MicroStrategy. You can see how the stock break a downtrend line in the long term. Okay, and this is where it gave the first hint that it uh, gave one of the first few hints that it wants to uh, move up. Okay, and here we have a bullish cross in a weekly chart, and this, and from there it makes higher highs, higher lows, and uh, it actually has also broken above this resistance area and above the old highs here. So um, at this moment, we can take the old highs maybe around here and use it as a reference point. Okay, it has overcome all resistance in the past okay i think this is the old highs here the old all-time highs so there is clear skies ahead <clears throat> but we don't know how far it's gonna go or maybe it corrects so you want to use the old highs here as a reference point that's what uh, usually we must do now if the stock corrects and stays above the old highs here then it is just a mere correction after a long run and you could maybe buy dips here and it will just continue to make higher highs and higher lows okay um let's just look at the monthly chart for a real bigger perspective now it's very very interesting to look at uh, stocks and different time frames there's so many things you can learn and that's why I encourage you to uh, subscribe to my channel so that you can look over my shoulders how I analyze uh, a stock from multiple time frames. So again, this uh, is a monthly chart, a very big picture. You can see that it actually formed a uh, monthly double bottom as it breaks above the downtrend line. So uh, traders can actually buy it and ride it higher. And if I don't know whether you notice or not, but here is a cup handle pattern. This is the handle. Okay, yeah, imagine. Let me do it again. Cup, and then this handle. <coughs> you can actually buy the breakout, put the stop loss here, and ride it higher. And cup and handles not only appear in the weekly chart, daily chart, but monthly chart. If you see that pattern uh, happening, uh, some usually it gives you a very strong indication that a monster move is uh, around the corner, and that is exactly what. Uh, uh, happens to micro strategy nothing small about the movement right now it's uh, really a monster move not a micro move all right with that in mind uh, we've covered the big picture let's go to the hourly chart okay as I promised you earlier since this is a stock that is uh, I know whenever a stock is in a parabolic move you want to switch to the 60 minute chart for uh, Closer trend analysis. Now, uh, let me just um, hide, uh, remove all the drawings so that we can have a fresh start. So the stock went up quite a lot, gap up, and then it corrected. Here, <coughs> you can see that it actually formed a cup with handle, correct? Okay. Uh, so I've shown you three cups and handles in this uh, stock alone, <coughs> which is why uh, it's good if you have time to. Uh, go the cup and handle is a very useful uh, uh, chart pattern which is why it's good for you to google it and learn about it maybe sometime someday i'll do a video about it so we have a 60 minute cup with handle what you can do is you buy it uh, when it breaks out put a stop loss and ride it higher and uh, this whole area congestion area okay Previously, it was a resistance, but because it broke out, now it becomes this area becomes a new support. <coughs> okay, and at this moment, uh, we just just deem it as a slight correction after a nice move, but it's not slight. It's a uh, about two hundred, uh, hundred fifty move down, and it's becoming quite volatile. Right? Yeah, if a stock moves from thousand six to uh thousand five you know it's a hundred point move okay it's quite a big move <clears throat> but in terms of percentage it's not so much but in terms of points yes it is um 
you want to continue to stay bullish bias as long as the stock stays above the rising 20 ma okay and also above the uh, this consolidation support and you want to uh, maybe if it drops to around here, you might want to find if that is tradable dip or not. But uh, if it drops below the 60 minute 50 MA, you have to be very, very careful because uh, from bullish bias, you turn to neutral and maybe to bearish bias. So, so far, I don't see uh, weakness yet at the stock, except that it's quite overbought, it's quite parabolic. So continue to... Um, I hope this uh, analysis is helpful to you. Continue to stay bullish bias on micro strategy. And um, if you enjoy this analysis, please uh, give me a like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel for more analysis uh, like this in the future. And I'll see you in the next one.